Late June 2022. Hostomel Airport, several kilometers from Kyiv, Ukraine. An intense battle raged here for two months after Russia launched its full-scale invasion of the country in February 2022. Now, workers are slowly disassembling one of the casualties of that battle. The wreckage of the Antonov AN-225 Maria. The site of the world's heaviest, possibly largest, and definitely one of the most beloved aircraft in flames, served as another reminder of the tragedy that is still unfolding in Ukraine. In the midst of such horrific scenes, it was this image that really illustrated the devastation being wreaked across the country. But where did it all start? The AN-225 Maria was built as the answer to a very simple question. How can you get a massive spaceship from one side of the Soviet Union to the other? Built by Antonov, a Kyiv-based team best known for pushing the limits of engineering with their gargantuan aircraft, it was created on the basis of the AN-124 Ruslan. The result was not a mere modification, it was a truly new aircraft. As such, the chief designer, Ukrainian-born Petro Balabuev, gave it a new nickname, Maria the Dream. But the aircraft was not destined to play its original role. As the Soviet Union collapsed, its space program dissolved. By the mid-1990s, the Maria was rusting on the outskirts of the airport, abandoned and unwanted. However, a miracle happened. Requests to use the giant aircraft for cargo flights started flowing in, and Antonov decided to fulfill its true potential. The Maria was dusted off and modernized. Western avionics and a new cargo hold floor were installed, allowing the aircraft to carry over 250 metric tons of cargo, almost twice more than any other jet. Since then, it has performed hundreds of flights all over the world, carrying trains, wind turbines, industrial equipment, and incomprehensible amounts of humanitarian aid. Its fame grew more and more, with hundreds of people flocking to whichever airport Maria graced with its presence. Its unparalleled size was certainly the main selling point. On top of that, it was completely unique. Other super-heavy freighters were manufactured by their dozen, while only one Antonov 225 ever existed. Although, that is not entirely true. At one point, there was a plan to construct another one. Initially designated for ground testing, the second airframe does exist and was not far from completion. There have been numerous attempts to bring it back to life, but none of them succeeded. According to sources within the company, the second airframe is stored somewhere in Kyiv, in a secret location meant to preserve it in the case of an unexpected attack. It is this airframe that one day will become the new AN-225. An intention to finish building the jet has already been voiced by the Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, as well as by the Antonov company. However, the production is not going to be cheap. The cost of finishing the jet varies from source to source, but it will certainly exceed what the company can currently afford. As Antonov disassembles the old aircraft, it is also investigating how many of its parts can be reused. Some of the engines and other components have been spared by the bombardment and are likely to see a new life. However, even with these measures, rebuilding the Maria is more than what Ukraine can afford now. The country is at war, and such a costly project will have to wait until its end. Now, the project is in its planning phase. In an exclusive interview with Aerotime, Dmitro Antonov, the chief pilot of Antonov Airlines, said the company is currently deciding what can be done next. As the front line shifts and Ukraine fights for its future, the work of rebuilding one of the country's greatest achievements is slowly starting. The Maria has always been an embodiment of Ukraine's dream, a dream of a brighter future. Today, that future remains under threat but the Ukrainian spirit will persevere, and we all look forward to seeing the Maria fly again.